Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another 3DS game idea. And this time, it's a Sega Saturn classic that really didn't see much of the light of the day. And and it was a game that was called Three Dirty Dwarves. This game is so hard to find and it's so damn rare. And it is super expensive now. And all that would... All I would really want is just to be able to play the damn game. Like, I, on the Sega Saturn, I was, like, I've played the, uh, what was it? What did they call it? The Sega Jump Pack Volume 1. I think that was the only one that was ever done, though. Um, it was a demo. It was a, literally a Sega Saturn demo disc. And then it, it had that, Daytona USA, uh, Virtual On... Uh, Panzer, Dra no, Panzer Dragoon was his own separate demo disc. Uh, Bug, or, but it was Bug 2, it wasn't Bug. There, there was a lot, there was a lot of stuff on there. Like, like, it was a lot of games on that demo disc. Um, like, but I've only ever played that demo. Like, and it, like, that game had made such an impression on me just with the demo, and I was like, I so want to play this because it's got like this interesting story to it where it's like these kids in an orphanage I think they're being tortured or something like that and these dwarves are like literally they're like coming to save them and they just use like uh <laughs> well you got one that uses a, a gun one that uses uh like a like dude that uses like sports equipment what was the other one I can't remember what the last one does <laughs> Like, but they just picked up random shit and went to town, started fighting with it and, and defeating all these enemies and bosses and stuff to, like, protect these kids. I think also these kids are, like, slightly psychic or something. Like I said, I haven't really played the game. I, like, I've just only looked up stuff and, unfortunately, I can't remember everything. Like, but it was, from what I remember, it was a really good game. Shit, the the demo was difficult as fuck when I was younger. Like that demo was difficult. Um Like I like the art style of like all the characters look like they're hand drawn. Um and the backgrounds as well. And you had the mechanic where you could swap between the three uh dwarves uh, unless you had like a um I forgot what they, they called it. For the sake of Saturn, but it was like basically um, a multi-tap that the Sega Saturn had where you could have all three characters being controlled by three different people. It was The game was up to three players. And I would love to see that game make it to the 3DS and give it 3DS download play. You only have to have one copy of the game and then... Two other 3DSs could be the other dwarves. That shit would be fucking great. <laughs> like, and there's something that, like I, I kind of want. Like, all, all I want them to do is just, just scale the game down to the 3DS screen. I don't want to have the. I don't want the the way it looks changed at all. No, keep the look the same. Keep the look exactly the same. Take the HUD off the top screen because you don't need it on the top screen. Drop it down to the bottom screen. And on the bottom screen, have the face of the dwarf that you're playing as in the center of the screen, as well as their health their health meter. And you could just swipe to switch between dwarves or use buttons, either one, but just, just to have the option for people. And as they're, as they're in more, like, the more damage they take, have their face change a little bit on the, the 3ds screen so it could reflect the damage that they've that they've had done to them that's all that needs to be done that's all it would need to be done for this game to be put on the 3ds playable now obviously they, they, they would have to work with the damn code and take it from the sega Saturn and redo it and everything and put it on the uh the 3ds but i mean it was already done with guardian heroes to put that on the Xbox 360, so I don't see why it couldn't be done to put Three Dirty Dwarves on the 3DS. In either, in either situation, the hardware that the game is going to is more capable than what the Sega Saturn was. So, 
I, that's why I look at it like that. It's I, I so want this game just to, to get refreshed and put back out. And maybe one, once that happens, it could possibly get a sequel if it's popular enough. It's, this is one of those games where I know it wouldn't cost much. I know it wouldn't cost much at all. I really know it wouldn't cost much to make it. And it's another situation where bank could be made off of it. Even if the the number of sales for it is, is tiny as fuck. <sighs> all these games. All so many damn games that just... Mm. I, I, like, this is this was one I definitely... I, I'm like, I so badly want. Like, I wouldn't say put it on the home console because it would get overshadowed by a lot of the bigger AAA games. But on like a handheld, it could do very well. It could definitely do very, very well. Because on a handheld, it would be one of those titles where people would be like, oh, this is cool. Let me play this while I'm out and about. This, this, is, this shit's good. On handheld, it has a better opportunity to thrive, is what what I'm getting at, and it could possibly move back to home console from there. But handheld revi- a revival on the handheld to allow it to thrive, and then after that, if it does well enough, home console from that f- point forward. But that's that's it. I'm done. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.